also called Cowtown, the site for this game. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. The kicker's got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Longhorns and their coaching staff, Kirk, just happy to have a guy like this in the program. Their offense really clicks when he's playing well. Well, I think it gives them the diversity that they're looking for. I mean, at times they're going to run the football. Other times they're going to try to air it out. When you have one guy that gets so much attention on the outside, it just seems to open up other aspects of their offensive attack. And they've done a good job as an offensive staff of putting together a good plan. And I'm sure we're going to see it again today. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on their own 22. And he hits him hard at the 30. Brooks gains eight yards on that play. it out the defender had it and then dropped it that'll make it fourth down and they're gonna have to punt it's a good hold by the defense on third down now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen Robinson back to return it booming kick Robinson fields it at the 24 tackle at the 35 Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. Second and seven. Ball on the 38-yard line. Go with the back, and he's hammered in the backfield. They'll spread the field with five wide. Finds the junior. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. From their own 47-yard line, it's first down. He's got an opening. Brought down right around the 50. Morris gains around three yards on the option play. Throw picked off. That's a great tackle at the 46 yard line. It's a great job in coverage by this linebacker. He does a good job of reading the quarterback's eyes and is able to come up with the interception. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 46. He tries to buy some time. And they make the stop around the 40-yard line. Takes it right. He can't get back to the line of scrimmage. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 41. A 
yard of any there for the halfback. He's hit right away. He made the catch, but he didn't get the first down. Yeah, right now, the way this defense is swarming, there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. Texas is looking to go up by three. The kick is up, and it's good. like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Here's a step in the maturation of a young quarterback. How does he respond to throwing an interception on that last drive? This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. And down he goes around the 33-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Roger, Roger. Mike 41, Mike 41. Nice run there. They'll get a first down there on the play with a run from the tailback. Solid five-yard pickup. He was almost able to get to the secondary, but as it is, he still manages to move the sticks. And they get nice yardage on that run. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. And now he's got room to run. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. You talk about a dual threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. It's on the ground. It's recovered. He really wanted that ball, didn't he, Kirk? Well, you can't teach hustle like that. The linebacker was determined to get the ball there, and he did. The quarterback leads his squad back out. They got three on their last possession. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. Well, after seeing the replay, it was apparent that his knee was down before he lost the ball. Yep. Those guys in the booth aren't perfect, but they got it right this time. And he's taken down at the 40-yard line. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way, the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Strike to his receiver, no good. The punting team's got to give their kickers some time. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Got to give some applause to the defense. They really came out playing strong today. Well, you know better than me, Brad. It, this college football game is about emotion. And to be able to play great defense in the college game, you've got to come out and play with your hair on fire. We've seen that from both of these defenses so far. Texas holds a field goal lead. Just throws this one away. from their own 20-yard line. It's second down. They 
They go with the run, and he's taken down behind the line. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking scheme. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. man he's pushed out of bounds around the 28 yard line Sanborn is waiting for the snap he puts it away and it's a great kick they'll bring him down at the 33 the Longhorns are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Well, you talk to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on? And what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down like that. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. From their own 37-yard line, it's second down. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Slings it. They'll bring him down at the 37. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. First and 10. Ball on the 37. He scrambled, decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. He's taken down at the 29-yard line. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. And he's tackled at about the 27-yard line. From the 27-yard line, first down. Gets to about the 24-yard line. with it and he's got room tackle made at the 17 third down again he'll get it again and he's level at the 18 the defense was playing the run all the way and they got it right nice work how calm he looked as he stood back there and read the defense when you know what you're doing and what should be happening it makes things a lot easier finds the tight end for a touchdown tight end. This guy can play some football. You bet he can. He's such an all-around player. He's just as good at blocking as he is at catching the football. And 
he hits the PAT. A 10 play, 67 yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Tackled after a decent pickup. From their own 30-yard line, second down. They give to the tailback. He's tackled at the 39. Gain of nine yards. That makes it first and ten. A long way yet to go, but at the end of one, TCU's up by four. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. The offense was pretty successful on that play there. That was a very good passing play to get the ball downfield for a very nice gain and a first down. First and ten. Ball on the 48-yard line. Tackle at the 42-yard line. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Brought down at about the 33-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 33-yard line. They hand it off again. Nice run to the outside. Brooks comes away with five yards on the carry. That brings him second and five. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. This is the eighth play of this drive. And he tackles him hard at the 38-yard line. He's going to aim this one to the sideline, try to kick it out of bounds. It's away, and it's a booming punt. And it goes out of the end zone for the touchback. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. TCU is up four. Hand off, and he's met in the backfield. From their own 19-yard line. Second down. Here we go. Let's go! Black, nice, nice. 
Throws complete. He's got space to work. I think it was a great play call. It was very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. They come out on an empty backfield. Got it to his man on the screen. And he shoved out of bounds around the 42-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 42. Pitches out, and the ball is up for grabs. And he has it on the corner. Tackled for a loss. The defense was that close to coming up with a big play. Yeah, they tried to get a little bit too fancy there on that option play. It's second and 15. Ball on the 37-yard line. He's scrambling. And they make the stop at about the 41. Gaining four yards. That makes it third and 11. TCU holds a four-point lead. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. Barron will be the return man. Tackle at the 24. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. From their own 39-yard line, first down. He's knocked out of bounds around the 44-yard line. Whittington gains about five yards on the play. That makes it second and six. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Four yards gain. You know, little passes like this force the defense to start to come up. Then you can see an offense take their chances downfield later to take advantage of the defense starting to cheat up. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Heading for the corner. He's at the 40. He makes his way out to about the 35. Nice run, and he's brought down. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Give to the running back, and he's going to lose yardage. strike 
incomplete. He's down. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. That makes it first and ten. We're at play number nine of this current drive. He's going to try and scramble. And he's going to come up with a sack. This is the 10th play of this drive. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Quick strike and he drops it. I love to see a confident quarterback, but you don't want to just go back there and put blind faith into your throws. You need a little bit more time to evaluate the coverage before you release the football. From the 28 yard line, it's third down. Rose and it's knocked away. The kick is away. It's long enough, and it's good. As his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. TCU up a point. Runs outside for a nice game. From their own 30-yard line, second down. Now he tries to buy some time, and he can't get away from the pressure. Third down and 11 coming up here. Ball on the 24. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. Barron is back deep to return. gets out to about the 42-yard line. This offense is just going to be kicking themselves. They're moving the ball very well. In fact, they're getting into their opponent's territory. The only problem is they're not finishing off the drives with touchdowns. They're having to settle for field goals. That could eventually catch up to them. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. Two minutes to go in the half. The screen pass goes nowhere. Well, you got to take your hat off to the defense. All week they preached over and over again how they were not going to let this kid use his speed in the open field, and they really shut him down that time. And down he goes at the 44-yard line. First down. Five wide. <laughs> Completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. From the 43-yard line, it's second down. Ready, 
Here's a quick throw. And he's taken down around the 25-yard line. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Well, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver. And the result, again, a nice play for the offense. It's first and 10. Ball on the 25. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's on the run. Now he's going to run and watch out. They'll bring him down at the 10. They move the sticks after another first down. Impressive drive by this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. Got the corner. He's taken down at the 7. And he throws it away. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. From the seven-yard line, it's third down. He gets rid of this one. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Texas is trying to take the lead here. The kick is up, and he got it. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Right, this has been a great game to watch. A lot of competitive spirit out there. The offenses seem to be going up and down the field. Back and forth we go. I think the winner will be which defense can make that pivotal stop to secure a victory. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Runs with it, and he's got room. Tackle made around the 33-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Well, they didn't get the first down, but it was still a pretty good run by the quarterback. He made a good decision to take off there. Going deep, lays it out there. And that tackle very well could have saved a touchdown. TCU is going to have to use their second time out of the half. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. He's tackled at the 20. And he's tackled at the 10-yard line. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. That brings up a second and goal. Ball on the 10. He scrambled. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Slides down. The Horn Frogs using their third and final timeout. Kicks away, and it splits the uprights. Points were very hard to come by in those first two quarters. They'll head to the locker room. TCU in front, 10-9. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. TCU is up one. Throws complete. He's hit right away. From their own 29-yard line. 
Second down. Tackle at the 38. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. Now he's scrambling. He's wrapped up for the sack. Lost a score on the play. That makes it second and 14. So it'll be second and 14 after the setback. Little screen pass. Brought down at about the 45. That makes it third and three. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Four down, four down. Mike 41, Mike 41. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Richardson was the intended target on the play, and they're going to have to bring on the punt team. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. It's away, and it's a booming punt. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense, as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. They'll go with a counter. Big opening. Nice run to the outside. Second, and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. <laughs> Terrific effort to pick up the first down. He got total extension and was able to keep his hands between the ball and the turf. his way to the 33-yard line. First and 10, ball on the 33-yard line. And they make the stop at the 30. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Little handoff. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Texas! So the offense is going to go for two. Texas is ready to kick it away. 
Excellent kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And that one's incomplete. This quarterback has got to do a better job of looking off defenders and allow his covered receivers some room to improvise and get free. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Carries the ball for a nice game. That's a deep five on the play. That'll make it 35. Mike 41, Mike 41. Red, red, 18. Quick release. Oh, had it knocked down. Barron will be the return man. And down he goes at the 33. And we see this offense again after what you, Kirk, called a very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game, and it helped them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. And down he goes, right around the 36-yard line. That makes it second and six. From their own 36-yard line, it's second down. Tackled after a decent pickup. Fights forward to about the 43. That play was pretty well defended, but since they only needed a few yards for the first down, he was able to get there. From their own 43-yard line, it's first down. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Wide receiver screen play, and he tackles him hard at the 47. Bradford brings him down at the 47-yard line. That brings up second and one. He's at the 30, and he's taken down at the 20. A run like that usually ignites the offense. So let's see if they can stay on a roll. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 20-yard line. Tackled after positive yardage. That makes it second and six. He goes out of bounds at the 12 yard line. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. It's the ninth play of the drive. Nice run, and he's brought down. From the one-yard line. Second down. Ready. Ready. Fires to the end zone, picked off. 
That is exactly the kind of play you want to see from a safety. He needs to be able to read the play and then make the interception. Gains his way to the 30-yard line. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 36. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five receiver look. Tries to scramble, but he's sacked. Sanders gets the call. Gets to around the 42. So we're looking at another third down here. Up the middle for a nice game. Here's the eighth play of the series. Nice run there. Morris picks up about seven yards there after keeping the ball on the option. They're about four yards away here on second down. Run up the middle. And this is the tenth play of the drive. Watch to throw outside. That close to being intercepted. As a defender, you want to keep your hands up. Maybe you can come away with a pick or at least deflect the ball. From the 41 yard line, it's second down. They'll bring him down at the 29. This is the 12th play of this drive. Taken down right around the 26-yard line. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. Second and seven. Ball on the 26. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. And he shoved out of bounds at the 13. Here's play number 14 of this drive. We head to the final quarter, and we've got a great game on our hands. The Longhorns lead is five. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Taken down around the 13-yard line. 
This is play number 15 of a very impressive drive. And they got him for a loss. That is a loss of one yard on the play. That makes it third and 11. They've been two for two on third downs in this drive, and they'll try to convert again here. Rose, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. Kicks up, and the field goal is good. TCU kicked this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. An interception cut this offense last drive short, so I think they're going to be looking for a little more success right here. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Texas is up two. The halfback with a carry. Runs it left for a decent game. That's a game of seven on the play. That makes it first and ten. It's second down and eight. Ball on their own 42. Going long. Doesn't get there. These guys just don't seem to be on the same page, and they're going to have to be if they expect to win this game. Tackled at the 45 yard line. Sanborn awaits the snap. Oh, excellent punt. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. He has some room. Decent run here, right side. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Tackle made at the 30-yard line. the 26-yard line. It's a great play by the defense, but you know, it really makes you wonder, was there a miscommunication up front by the offensive line? They just seemed to allow the defensive line to get through, and the running back didn't have much of a chance at all. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Barron fields it at the 26. Tackle made at the 39-yard line. 
Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Texas with a two-point advantage. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. He throws it. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. That was a nice play. Anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus. Brought down the 47-yard line. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 39. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. And he's level at midfield. Loss of three. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated him there. They're coming after this punter. It's away, and it's a booming punt. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Oh, and a huge drop by the wide out here in the fourth quarter. From their own 20-yard line. Second down. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Stop at the 25. Baron, back to return it. And this one is a beauty. Barron takes it to the 28, and he's tackled at the 35. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Texas holds just a two-point lead. He's going to try and scramble. And down he goes at the 38. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on the 38. the tailback and he carries the ball for a nice game so it's third down and they've got about two yards to go
makes it to the 45-yard line. TCU's going to use their first time out of the half here. Robinson awaiting the return. And he's got to be happy with that punt, Kirk. Yeah, Brad, that was nice. And now they're looking at a long way to go to even think about a score. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Just over two minutes in the game. And they'll bring him down behind the line. You know, it looked to me like he should have made the pitch, but he kept it instead and wound up going backwards. He's, he's, he's. They'll spread the field with five wide. Quick strike to the receiver. He's pushed out of bounds. Right around the 20. They're about four yards away here on third down. Now he's scrambling. They bring him down. He has one job on passing situations. Get to the quarterback. And he did that job very, very well on that play. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Three down, three down. Mike, 41. Black, 68. Black, 68. Wow, you just got to love it for this defense. They come up with the stop of the ball game and maybe the season. Football will change hands as they fail to convert on fourth down. This is where the offense has to come to the forefront. They work all week for situations like this. They've got the lead. They've got a chance to add to it, and that would mean a victory. He fights forward to about the 16. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 16-yard line. The Horned Frogs call a timeout. That's their second of the half. He's got the corner. Now it's first and goal as he's knocked out after a nice game. A little over a minute in the game. Brooks, left side. They'll bring him down at the one-yard line. From the one-yard line, it's second down. TCU's out of timeout. And he's taken down just outside the goal line. a tremendous job by that defense and their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ball game and now the offense has got a chance to win it he gets it up and it splits the uprights and with time winding down they probably won't let this return man feel the ball he really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, this is the chance. Late in the fourth quarter, they're behind, but they've got an opportunity now to come back and win it. They come out in a five-wide set. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. From their own 25-yard line. It's second down. Up the middle for a nice game. Spikes the ball. Five wide.
Fires it out. And he is drilled at the 42-yard line. And he stops the clock with a spike. It's second and 10. Ball on the 42. He wants it all. Incomplete. 